to a man. It's unfortunate that uh, when the actions of dreaded days of the week and I got home really late from work today so my night begins now. It's 11 and I have to do some some work for myself and then I'm gonna play Animal Crossing. I think for tonight I just need to pack some orders. I have to reply to a lot of DMs and comments because I've been pushing that off. Because recently, I don't know why, but there's been so many DMs. I think it's because of Animal Crossing. And I also posted a story of like when this when these group of girls walked past me and they pretty much, like all of them had their sleeves like this and covering their mouth and they're like, Corona! And I'm like, yeah, I know you're a high schoolers and you're easily influenced by your peers and your parents but like please be nice and not do that to someone that looks the same age as you because they may not be the same age as you because I'm not, I'm 22. But anyways, I think it was because of that post and also Animal Crossing I've been getting way too many DMs and I try my best to read and reply to all of them so please be patient with me. Oh, I also need to drop off my letters and pick up mail. I am watching the Love Alarm. It's like this new Korean drama on I just wish you got mail, but you always check and there's like literally no mail. I kind of like this outfit. It's like khaki with a turtleneck, but it's like getting really hot recently. Like it's really cold in the morning and all of a sudden it's really hot in the afternoon. So in the morning this turtleneck is great, but once it hits like 3 p.m. it's so hot to wear this. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so happy. Yay! Man, I I love watching unboxing videos because I I guess like when I send things out, I don't know how people are going to react and knowing that you guys are so happy when you open my mail, it kind of makes me reassured that I'm doing something right. So I just got a comment from Cassandra and she said something that made me super happy and I I don't know it just like it made me smile just reading it so she said okay but have you heard that saying when you buy from a small shop an actual person does a happy dance the fact that she was so happy from that sale brought a little happiness to me and I remember when I got that one sale that I was talking about in one of my vlogs I was so happy just like 
Every time I see a notification that someone ordered from my Etsy shop, it's like no matter how small, if it was like $3, I don't care. It's just, it makes me so happy for some reason. And I actually do like have this happy dance, but like internally, like I actually smile, but I, I just feel all jittery inside. So like, thank you so much. So I just got back from work. It's around 9.30. Um, I usually come home pretty late from work just because there's a lot to do. Uh, it's either that or we're squatting or something. Um, we actually started up again. It's been a whole month since I've exercised and it feels really tiring. And then after that, we cleaned the entire office. So I'm like, my body is physically just like so tired, but I, it feels really good to like work out again and clean everything because that's just, I guess, two of my favorite things now. But um, yeah, I've just been eating El Hoya Loco. Okay, this is like the second time, so it's just convenient and drive through And I got this uh, shrimp bowl and I'm gonna watch some videos and then I should probably get something done. It's been a while since I got something done, so. We should be productive again. Oh my god, and it's also Thursday, and I'm so excited because it's Friday tomorrow, and that means it's the weekend soon. So as you all may know, I have this precious baby that I've been carrying around with me everywhere. So I ordered this before Amazon got backed up with a lot of orders, and now everything takes a month to deliver. But I got this right before that happened. I got a case. And I also want to get those little um, Joy-Con uh, covers with the little paws. Like I wish they had different designs, but so far the cutest one is the paw one. And I want to order it on Amazon, but it's like, it takes a month. It's going to come like April 23rd or something. So I'm not really sure if I want to do that. So I bought this one because it comes with a uh, glass screen protector and this clear case. And my plan was to like put stickers under this and decorate it because I do really like the plain look of the Switch. I like clean looking things, but also it's like such a fun color. And I think if I put stickers on it, it would look really cute. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, usually, I'll just put one in the center because I just like that clean look. So that's why I've hoarded so many stickers because I just don't know where to put them. So I took all my stickers out and I just, I love stickers, but where do I put them? I just, I like collecting them, I guess, and looking at them. It makes me happy. I think when I get stickers from you guys, I literally just like hold those stickers in my hand every time I come home and I just kind of get really happy looking at them even though I'm not using them. But yeah, I might do the apple, like just one giant apple if it fits, but I'm not sure yet. Originally, I didn't want to actually stick the stickers on here because I just don't want to ruin the surface. And also like if I ever want to take the stickers off, I feel like it would scratch because this is matte. But I think what I want to do is I want to take these really cute um, fruit stickers. These are by Wang Guma. And I want to make a pattern on the back. And I think it's fine. I mean like, this wasn't an expensive device. Like it would have been expensive to me if I didn't have a job and I was like saving up for it. But because I have a job, it's not, it's not too expensive. So I don't mind sticking stickers on it, I think. Yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna do it. I think it'll look cute. So this is what it looks like and I'm kind of in love with it. Like look at all the cute little faces on them. This is such, this is something that I would like. 
like cute fruits with faces on them and patterns. Okay, now I have to put the case on without getting any dust in it. This is like my worst nightmare with clear cases because no matter what you do, some dust is gonna get stuck. It's gonna annoy the heck out of you. <sighs> okay. All right. I like how it's literally just putting on a clear case and I'm freaking out. <gasps> okay. It is on. Nice. Wow, that is really pretty. I'm really happy. And now for the even harder part, I need to put on the screen protector. I'm going for it. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. Wow, this feels so much better. It's like more grip and I'm not scared to get it scratched. Just finished packing orders from you guys. Um, I think packing orders is so therapeutic for me, so I always like doing it after work. Do I want to, what time is it? It's already 11.44. Do I want to play Animal Crossing? Or do I want to edit my YouTube video? The struggle is real. Maybe I'll compile all of my footage because I still have to take a shower. So I'll compile all my footage um, onto my editing software and then I will play Animal Crossing. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Wait, I like your outfit. You're so cute. Both of you. Why is my outfit so plain? Mine's are all just QR codes. They're not real. I'm wearing nothing. Wait, what? How do you do that? Wait, we have the same hair. Oh yeah, I like the green. <laughs> I initially chose them like, hmm, does this seem like me? This kind of seems more like Brit's color. What are you do Oh, wait, did you just change your whole outfit? Bro, why do I feel so behind? I literally don't know what's happening. Wait, I finally can do this. <laughs> I'm not an influencer. I am just a human. So it's probably- oh shit, I just watered my carpet. Oops. But it's probably not a good idea to water your plants at night when they're technically awake. But uh, this plant kind of looks really sad. My Monstera, so I'm gonna water her. I feel like I'm brewing coffee or something. They are all watered now. Hello. I am back from work and it's 12.19 a.m. We were live streaming um, the guinea pigs for a good like hour and a half. I got some stuff in the mail. I don't know what it is. Um, I know what this is though. I wanted to order some stickers from the sticker app just cause I thought it's time for some new stickers. Ooh, cute. Actually, a lot of you guys asked me if I could make this into a sticker, and so I did. I'm sorry if it took a bit longer than y'all were anticipating, and I hope you still like it. Um, but these are different stickers from what I usually make because they're actually clear stickers. 
So I got to experiment with painting on white. I, you can't really tell that it's a clear sticker yet because it's on a white background. But these, these two fellas, they're my new stickers. Ooh. I think I'll take some product shoots without the backing on just so that people know it's clear. And yeah, if you want these, they're gonna be up in my Etsy store, most likely tomorrow. And I ordered a ton because I learned my lesson with uh, my previous stickers. I didn't order enough or I didn't make enough. And this way I'll have more stock and I won't have to worry every time I'm gonna run out of stickers because at least I'll have something in my store. Um, so there's that. So they also gave me some sticker samples and I guess they're all related to... Oh, no, they're not. But this one is related to uh, COVID-19. It's a bar soap that just says fight COVID. And then there's this weird one, how to wipe your butt. Yeah, I don't know when I'll ever use stickers like this, but it's pretty entertaining. I kind of like it. They're kind of cute. All right, next, this mystery mail. So Megan was in my licensing for business class in Art Center and she actually bought one of my pieces. It was the blue painting. I'll flash an image here if I remember, but that was like honestly my favorite piece that I've done in a while. So then it was really hard for me to let it go, but knowing that she wanted it and she is a friend, I just instantly like just sent it to her because I'd rather have a piece that I really love go to someone that I know that, um, I don't know, it just feels like it's still with me if it's with someone I know. She sent me a letter and a drawing. And honestly, this is so cute. I think I saw in her story recently that she also got postcards and it was her first time using it, I think. But I totally did not expect this in the mail. I love it so much. I don't get a lot of original art in the mail. So she said, I've actually been meaning to send you a reply ever since you sent over your original blue to me. Now that I've been trapped in my house for the last week or so, I finally have the time to sit down and make this little letter for you. I hope you're doing all right during these weird times. I've been following your cute illustrations on Instagram and honestly, they're so inspiring. Uh, uh, I cannot take compliments. I'm really bad at taking compliments. It's so sweet. Like I honestly wasn't expecting this. So thank you so much. It means so much to me and I'll find a nice place to put this. Oh, yeah, and something else that came in the mail recently that I forgot to film. Um, I got a stack of photos for my friend because she actually likes taking photos. Um, this is from Emmeline and I think she told me that most of these were taken around like LA and she wanted to send it to me because I was born and raised in the LA area so I don't know. I guess just for memories. I don't know if they're actually all from LA. Okay some are from the Philippines but most of it is from California so they're so pretty, like... <sighs> These are some of the, the pictures she sent me. Like, look at them. I feel like I should do a photo wall. Like, look at that color blocking, though. What the heck? Yeah, but I took a good look at these um, a few moons ago and... I just love them so much. They do remind me of California, especially the succulents. And this is little Tokyo. Been there so many times. This is from Philippines. And yeah, I'm really grateful for these. And I most likely will start hanging things up on my walls because it still feels pretty empty and I've lived here for like half a year now. And I should start decorating more. What am I gonna do now? I need to put a switch which is literally sitting right next to me because uh, always gotta be prepared. Um, I don't know, maybe play on my phone a bit. I just wanna sleep. Okay, maybe I should, maybe I should uh, show you guys this story because this, this girl that bought something from my store, she sounds so excited and it makes me very excited too. 
If you're watching this, I'm sorry if I'm making you feel awkward by putting you on my screen. Because I opened up my very own Etsy shop, but I also just got a sticker that I ordered from one of my very favorite artists who inspired me to do what I do today. So oh. I'm so excited to pick this up. Thank you card, which I love because it's like a print within itself, and then this creative o'clock sticker, which is the piece de resistance of the whole package. I have no idea where I'm gonna put it because I'm actually like a sticker hoarder and I never put anything on anything, but um, thank you so much. You guys seriously need to go check her out. She's got the cutest stuff, and all of her product is like affordable and also so worth it. Oh my god, thank you so much. You're so cute. <laughs> When people order from my store, I I don't know, I kind of have this weird tendency to like generalize the whole internet and everyone that's inside the internet. And so like when people buy from my store or when they comment on my videos and I like reply back to them, for some reason I see you guys all as just like one like one body, like one person. So I feel like I'm constantly talking to like this one friend that I just I don't know, just always talk to that one friend. And so when I actually see you guys talking about me and my work, but like your face is saying words and it's not just text, I actually can feel it versus just reading it and being like, oh, this is like the same person just like over and over again. I don't know. I know it's late, but I'm hungry and I think I should eat something. Um, maybe some bok choy. Always got bok choy in my fridge. Okay. I think I'll just mix everything together. I know why I haven't been cooking recently because I have a lot of dishes in the sink and I don't have a pan to cook things in. So I have to do dishes before I can cook. Or I can find a pot and just figure it out that way. Or I actually have one more pot. I don't have to do dishes for another day. Yay. Saturday and I just realized that as a kid I hated pink but for some reason everything I own now is pink my my bed is pink I have a pink pot I have a pink hand towel a uh, pink shower curtain a lot of pink things over here and like my face and towel is pink so it's like what happened there i wonder i don't know so i think today what i really need to do is plan out today because i have a lot of things to do so i should write it down because i think lists are one of my favorite things ever just like making and writing lists is just it makes me feel so like it de-stresses me when I write lists and stuff, so I'm gonna do that now. So I mainly plan out my day using my Midori, which um, I have this notebook. It's actually the Midori notebook. I got this in Taiwan, but this one's the, the planner. So it has like um, the dates and like it's a weekly planner, which is my preference for planning things and then on the other side it's just like a grid pattern so I can like stick little notes you guys send me or to-do lists stuff like that but when I actually want to like check things off my list I use like this happiness planner that my friend gave me a long time ago it came in one of those oh dear monthly subscription boxes and it's just really nice it has like for fun I'm going to do positive things for today a to-do list with like the little boxes to check things off you can write the date you can write a timetable there's a section for notes and doodles and then at the bottom it says tomorrow i'm looking forward to which i think is really cute um but yeah i think this layout is really nice for when i have a lot of things going on in the day and i really want to write down like specific times like 
when I hit each goal. Okay, so now I need to shoot these stickers and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on this notebook. It's one of the traveler's notebooks that I bought. Um, this one's in the dotted grid, I think. Yeah. I don't know how well the chicken will show up on this, but we will see. And I usually just take pictures on my bed because that's like the prettiest background I have. Usually, yeah, I only have that. So, if my pictures look repetitive, that is why. Should I do this? 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 I don't know how to lay this out to look cute. I kind of like that. That's kind of cute. Ooh, I'm so nervous about peeling stickers. Okay, gotta make sure everything looks decent. Should I add like some props? Good thing I always have a bunch of knickknacks and props laying around. Okay, now I have to do the chicken. Okay, this one I'm actually excited about because its body shape is white even though the sticker is clear, which I think is really cool. I just took and edited a new one and I think this looks a lot better as a thumbnail than before because there's more interest there's more interesting things going on I um, think that is good save and yeah publish Now let me just see what it looks like. Hmm, I do like that a lot better. All right, so I'm trying to draw some like Posca pieces and I realized that I think these are all running out of ink. And then I remembered that I have an entire set of the same colors. And then I also remembered that Ada did like a tutorial on her YouTube channel on how to like take ink from another pen and put it into another post marker so I'm gonna try that I'm really scared because if this fails everything's gonna be really messy um, I don't really use the medium sized tips I mainly use the fine tip pens so I'm gonna just transfer it over to here so I think what she did which I'm kind of nervous for because this doesn't have a flat bottom so it's not gonna stand up properly but I I think she just pulled this off. I think. Okay, I need to watch her video. I'm not, I don't remember how she did it. Okay, so she said that it's so hard to get this part off the first time, which I agree with because I can barely open this. feel dumb because you're supposed to twist it clockwise, not counter- Oh. Uh. Whoa. I wonder how much paint is still in here. Whoa. Okay, I made a- I made a mess, but they're all refilled, so hopefully they'll last me a bit longer. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with the old ones. I don't know if I can still get any more paint out of them, but I think I'm gonna just keep it just in case. Oh, oh my God. Oh. I'm very happy right now. Look at all that food.
thanks for watching another studio vlog and I'm going to play a lot of Animal Crossing right now and I'm gonna do some sketching. Um, I don't think I'm gonna record it because I just wanna I just wanna draw without having the pressure of like a camera watching me the whole time. But I hope you have a good weekend. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.